Welcome to our series of short technical discussions. It's all about rope. In this edition, Best Practices for Messenger Lines, we'll discuss rope selection and the proper method to attach a messenger line to your rope. Messenger lines are light lines used to transfer a larger line, like those used for mooring or towing, from a ship to the shore or from ship to ship. Usually, a smaller diameter line is connected to the eye of the rope to be transferred. In tug applications, it is typical that the vessel needing assistance drops a messenger line to the tug, and the tug attaches its own messenger line already rigged to the tow rope or pendant. Once transferred, the line is typically placed on a capstan to haul the larger line aboard. Choosing a messenger line Proper messenger lines are part of a well-designed towing system. They can extend the life of your valuable working lines, while improper rigging or rope selection have been shown to shorten their working life. The messenger line should be a braided rope rather than twisted. Twisted ropes under load will impart twist to the rope being transferred. Twist in a braided rope causes the strands to be unevenly loaded and can lead to early failure. Well-designed braided ropes are non-rotational. Messenger lines are handled both by hand and on capstans. Choose a rope with good hand, meaning it is flexible and easy to handle, holds knots well, and has good grip for use on capstans. Attaching the messenger to the tow rope. The attachment of the messenger to the eye is critical. Samson has identified the attachment as a potential failure point for your towing system. Girth hitching the messenger to the eye is not recommended. Residual strength testing has shown that the compression caused by a direct girth hitch in the eye can lead to loss of strength and failure. Over time, this compression can lead to internal abrasion and fiber fusing. The girth hitch is also prone to poor positioning. It must be at the apex of the eye. Unless the strain on both legs of the eye is equal, the splice can slip or pull out. The best attachment avoids compression and allows the attachment point to move easily along the eye. Here, a grommet is loosely folded through the eye. The messenger line is then girth hitched to the grommet. Alternately, a grommet is spliced directly in the eye of the pendant or the messenger is eye spliced to the pendant's eye. Any of these results in an attachment point that avoids compression of the pendant and allows the messenger line to move freely along the legs of the pendant's eye. Using a swivel to eliminate twist. Regardless of the attachment type, a swivel should be placed either at the point where your messenger attaches to the towing pendant's eye or within 8 feet of it. The swivel will help eliminate any twist when the rope is hoisted aboard. When the job is done and the messenger line has been returned, flake it down on deck so it is ready to go for the next assist. A quick review. Your messenger line is a critical part of the towing system. A well-designed rope, attached correctly, will allow your towing pendant to achieve its full service life. Choosing a rope. Non-rotational, braided ropes avoid twist. Easy to handle. Retains knots, works well on capstans. Attach correctly. Loose attachment that doesn't cause compression. Use a swivel to avoid twist. If you'd like to know more about using synthetic ropes as messenger lines, visit the Samson website at www.samsonrope.com. There, under the Resources and Literature pull-down menu, you'll find the technical bulletin titled Tug Messenger Line Attachment. In addition to technical bulletins, there are articles, brochures, and catalogs, case studies, technical papers, and videos on a wide variety of subjects concerning rope use and maintenance. Of course, you'll always find full product specifications, a dealer locator, and information about Samson products in many different applications. Thanks for watching this edition of It's All About Rope.